Hey everybody, this is Wes. Welcome to the show. Today I thought I'd do something a little different. Um, this is going to be just a drawing demonstration. This is a lot of times how I will start a painting is with... Um, uh, instead of using a pencil, though I'd be using paint, but it's the same idea. All I'm doing is finding where the shapes are, where the lines are in relation to each other, and then correcting it as I go. So I'm kind of doing the same thing here, and I've just got a photo here of these four strawberries, which I'm going to try to s center and fill up the space as best I can, something like this. In fact, that's how I'm going to start, is by using my hands to kind of guide where these, what space these are going to fill. So that's going to be the very tip top of these little sprigs, and this is the side of these sprigs. And notice, even the way I place my hands, I've already kind of, I have this line here. I can see, looking at the photo, where the angle at which this is to this, this relationship. And that's what this is all about, is finding the relationships. So, using the same method, I'm going to come from this stem all the way down to find the edge over here, the very tip of this strawberry. And how, so it's something like this. And then I can also double check it by going to the point of this, in fact I'll go ahead and define this little sprig here, this bit of greenery, from the point of this down to this point is something like this. So I've kind of created this little triangle. Let me go ahead and find where this one is. I'm going to say that it is right here, just since that's where it, where my hand naturally put it. So now I've got this in relation to this down here, which I'm going to bring it in slightly. Let me check that that's being caught on camera. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So now I've got a few points defined on the canvas and from here so this this is this sprig I'm going to use this to kind of show where this line is of the strawberry and lightly I'm kind of finding where this is all right well might be better to Actually, now that I think about it, I think it'd be best to find this other strawberry. So, I'm guesstimating, just eyeballing it, it's somewhere along this line here. Now I can take that idea and check it with this point. So, kind of, if I bring that point straight across on the image, that kind of comes right above where these little sprigs of this one is, right? And checking it compared to this, I'm actually a little, little far, so I'm going to erase, erase that, and I'm going to bring it in a bit to where these are the sprigs here. Does that make sense? So now just below that will be where this strawberry lies, or should be somewhere around there. I'm going to go ahead and find this corner while I'm at it. And notice this isn't, uh, this is a very methodical uh, method here. It's not a very quick method. Um, there's a bit of searching involved. It can be made quicker by kind of the way I do my a lot of my paintings is I'm kind of doing a a variation where I'm finding the line but I'm also finding the shape so instead of this line I might do a blob of paint 
kind of making that line line up, but also blobbing in the whole thing at a time, if that makes sense. And um, all right, I'll find where that shadow is here. And this thing. All right, it would be, would be helpful to define where this lines up. I'm just kind of guesstimating on this little curve of this strawberry meets right with this strawberry. So we might lower this a bit. So I can use that same line technique to find the relationship between where this meets this curve. So I'm basically finding kind of the angle of things, both the actual angle and the perceived angle between two different points. Here's another, now this is too high because I can use that same point and it really should end up closer to down here. So this one over here is wrong, I'm gonna just get rid of that. Um, this is a 2B pencil and it doesn't erase that well but it's not a big deal, this is just a demonstration type, type of thing. All right, so I'm not really concerned with details here. This is just kind of to supplement the painting part of the of my videos, is to just show how how I come by um, the images, how I get them to the canvas, or this in this case to the paper. All right, again, I'm going to look. This is what kind of this base, the stem part of this strawberry. And it's kind of, yeah, that's about right for this leaf here. And I just kind of find where this V is. It's kind of in line with this line that I already have here. So I'll bring this on down. This eraser tends to smear this instead of erase it. That's okay. Okay, and this strawberry is kind of just a bit on the outside of this. And the angle kind of goes in this direction. And zoops around. So it's above here. So I had this line wrong, I think. It seems it's closer to right now. Okay. So now let's find where this line is here in relation to here. Looks about right. Let's see in relation to this other point up here. Yeah, I think it's going to go right here. And following this line across, kind of bisects it this where this um, curve starts so then yeah I'm just going to kind of continue drawing this out now this little spot here is a little off I think Okay, let me find, all right, so it should be somewhere around there, I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to put this edge, this 
So I believe I had this one wrong here. Although now this whole thing seems off. I never said this way I do this, the way that I do this is uh, without errors. It can be difficult sometimes. And notice how thick this line got. That's just because I'm not sure exactly where this is going to end up. With paint, I don't have to go back and erase. It's, it's just a matter of painting over over the mistakes with the next layer. <clears throat> so now, now I've got a big discrepancy here. This strawberry is a little too small for where it fits, I think. Yeah, I'm seeing some of my problems here. I didn't leave enough room for this to come down far enough. And so this would start closer to here. So this is kind of an on-the-fly correction, which also may be incorrect. Now I love it when I get the chance to make mistakes in my videos and in life in general because mistakes are how we figure out how to do things better <laughs> when we realize our mistakes that is realizing mistakes allows you to correct them if you don't realize your mistakes then you're just stuck with your mistakes and you don't know that you are in this state <laughs> of mistaken this okay so I think these leaves are too high up and I'm creating a mess here but hope you can see hope you're seeing the mistakes before I'm seeing them if I had if I can get outside of myself and be a viewer while I'm creating paintings and artwork. Um, I think I'd do a much better job at it. I'd be a better artist. But until that happens, my only recourse is to do the best I can. I think that's the same for everybody. We're all just trying the best we can. All right. I'm kind of Need to sharpen my pencil here. Starting to run into some of the wood on the edges. Okay. Then we can go in with the shadow. Again, I'm kind of re relating that edge to this edge. I see it kind of comes out of that. To find this horizontal, I'd want to try to line up this part here. Checking it again with the horizontal. So yes, a lot of it is horizontal placement and vertical placement. And then you're finding the angles that don't line up with that. Horizontal and vertical are the easiest things to figure out, I suppose. If nothing else, you can just hold a pencil or your brush out to line things up that way. So I'm seeing now that this is probably further up, further out. Yeah, so the point really should be further out here, the point of this uh, green leaf bit here that I was using earlier. You'll have to be the judge. Let me know, uh, am I getting closer to uh, 
closer or further away to the strawberries here. I guess I'll, by this, by the time I upload it, I'll have seen it in the editing process and I'll probably have more to say on it, but, uh, okay. So I think that's, that's the basic shapes. I mean, I can come in and find these shadows. And these are strict lines, so you could pretty much figure those out pretty quickly. And there's a shadow back here. There we go. I think I've done enough damage for this one. I hope you got something out of it. Um, drawing is not my strong suit, but um, I do try to do some here and there to keep up um, with this skill. It's an important one for placing things correctly when you want to do so. It's not the end-all be-all. Like I said, I'm not a strong uh, drawer, um, but uh, I kind of fake it as best I can. That's why in a lot of my paintings you'll see me change things and um, get better and better as, it, as the painting goes along, <laughs> basically. Okay. Um, thank you all for uh, showing up today and hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Um, click like at the bottom if you uh, like the video. Subscribe to get uh, updates in the future. And thanks for watching.